What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I'm the Energy and Intuitive Reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this reading. Virgo! What's up, Virgs? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Virgo as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you. <laughs> oh, Virgo. You know what I'm feeling intuitively? Some of you guys are like... <laughs> You've invested in something. Oh, I'm about to cry. This is so cute. Don't judge me. I feel emo I feel energy, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys have invested in something. And it's like, you're so cute with it. Aw. You're just like, oh, let me let me just see how it's doing. This is like somebody who like planted a plant, right? And you like go and check on it every every now and then. But it's like you're it's like you care about this. You're just like like the energy is so like this could be with a cancer or it's just like very nurturing very like i want to take care of you i want to make sure you're good like this is so cute virgo i don't know if this is you towards someone or someone towards you but i like this energy okay all right virgo what's going on somebody smells good okay maybe you like how somebody smells somebody likes the way you smell i don't know Okay, bottom of the deck is abundance in reverse. Well, Virgo, this is all happening because they want you to. The earth signs recently have are having a little bit of trouble. It's like they want you to be grateful for what you have, Virgo. Okay, um, that's why all of this stuff is happening. That's the grounding to this message. Okay, so the first card you have is friendship in reverse. There's some friends, some family member here that uh, you need to separate yourself or you're realizing that you need to. You have hope. Oh, man. You have you still have hope for this friendship, this family member. Um, something about the 27th could be significant. <sighs> Virgo. I mean, I like it. I like it. Some of you guys could have a water sign as your moon sign, but I don't know. Let's see. Where's this friendship in reverse and hope? Yeah. It's... It could be somebody else. Take it how it resonates. Can be somebody towards you. You have the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Death card in reverse. <sighs> the Tower in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse, Ace of Wands. This, you keeping hope for this word, but I'm going to be honest with you, is causing you a lot of stress. You're being guided to stop nurturing this because it's refusing to go through a transformation. And I feel like you keep feeding into this. It's, it's kind of like you're kind of preventing this energy to go through a transformation because the energy can still reach you in some way it's like you have to stop taking care of this friendship connection this family connection so that it can grow so that they can grow on their own you know what i'm saying like like it's time for an energy could be a scorpio could be an air sign um aquarius leave with gemini or a taurus virgo capricorn it's like they gotta they gotta grow on their own they cannot you cannot keep um helping them out here no matter as much as you want to my love like something gotta give you're being shown what this truly is so that you can see that an energy is refusing to change. And you can't keep feeding. You can't keep feeding them anymore. You can't. As much as it, as much as it hurts, you can't. Because now you're affecting their growth, right? So, yeah. So it's like somebody's clinging on to you and it's like you gotta... You, you, you know, create some space, create some boundaries. I feel like you don't want to for whoever this is, but it's needed. Okay. The next card you have is regenerize here. Re-energize. Re um, you're feeling worn out with something here. Invisible. You're not telling anybody about this. You're not telling anybody about this. But this is weird because whatever it is that's warning you is the, that you feel like really worn out with is also um is also 
kind of energizing you up at the same time. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. So I feel like you're not telling anyone, though. You're keeping this to yourself. What is this re-energize and invisible here? You have the three of cups in reverse. Because this is because you don't want people in your in your um you could have Scorpio in your chart. Because you don't want people in your business. You have the magician in reverse, the ten of cups, and the four swords in reverse. I feel like you know that there's energies that you're around, family or friends. Could be the situation. You could be falling in love soon, Virgo. Um it's like you know that they can mess up this situation for you, and you're really happy right now with whatever it is. This is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like it is a little draining to the point where it's like maybe you have to put a lot of energy into it, but it's like you get it's like you get replenished right back. So it's not like it's not like you're leaving emptied, you know? Like you you get you're drained, but the other energy refills you right back up. Um, but I feel like you know that. There's energies around you that just, yeah, yeah. And, you, and you're and you not trying to deal with that. You're definitely keeping it a secret. You definitely are. Um, nothing wrong with that, boo. Okay, protect your peace at all costs. Next card you have is blessings here. So there's something really good that's happening. I think it's this. You feel like this is a blessing in your life. That's why you're trying to like not really um, put it out there. You have cycles here. Um, something about 37 could be significant. I feel like a blessing is coming toward towards you. I don't feel like all of you guys are here yet, but a blessing is coming towards you after you fin you stop doing a cycle that you've been doing over and over again. Yep, that you've been like, oh yeah, I'm happy here. <laughs> and you're really not. <laughs> Too long. Yeah, you're making plans towards this. You're making plans. This is good. What is this cycles and blessings here? Two of Wands came out again. You have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Two of Wands here. Um, there is a blessing here coming for you, but I feel like it's been delayed really, really bad here because you had to let go of something first, right? This cycle that you've been in. Um, Six of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Nothing is going to be successful unless you um, let go of this cycle that you've been in. This thing that you've been doing over and over again. You know exactly what this is. OK, because um, I see you wanting to fly towards this, but it's not going to work out. It's going to be full of false promises, false. Not successful, not victorious at all, because you have to make sure that you're going towards this with an empty plate behind your back, um, because this blessing is going to be very abundant. Like you're going to have your plate overflowing. OK, um, it's always a lot better than what we think, but you need to let something go. And until you do that, things are going to be delayed. Things are going to be going wrong. So if things are going wrong, things are being delayed. It's because you still haven't let something go yet. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting with that yet. All right. So let's see what the advice is for you. What is this hope and friendship in reverse? Friendship and hope spirit. You have door to value. You're about to get something. It could be money. Could be something that you that you feel is, is as valuable as money. And this energy cannot come with you. I don't know what else to say. They cannot come with you. So now what are you gonna do? I know Virgo, you ain't you don't play about your money. You don't pay about your valuables, right? Mm-hmm. Make sure this energy is out of your space before you accept whatever is going to come in towards you, okay? What is this invisible and re-energize? Magician in the mirror. You have the magician in reverse here. You, you know exactly what to do with this. You know exactly what to do with this. You are, you see, you know what I'm getting with this car? This thing that you're like not telling people about, that you're kind of keeping to yourself that's like, it takes a lot out of you, but it, you also get replenished back. Um, I feel like you know exactly what you're doing. And that might be a little scary to you because you don't know how you know that you know exactly what to do. That's what I'm getting. Um, but you know exactly what you're doing. This is so nice. Because this is an energy where it's kind of like, wow, like... I know, I know what I'm doing. I've never even experienced this before. You know, like this is something, um, that's, that's a good feeling. Yeah. You're fine. 
listen to your intuition here um but you're doing exactly you're, you're fine like you're just you um not telling people about this or keeping it to yourself because you don't want people to like mess up with your thoughts with your mind that's very good okay what is the cycle and blessings you have the angel of balance you got to bring balance into your life here in order for you to accept a blessing. And how do you bring balance is by taking things out that have ran its course too much. It could be weighing down the scales, right? A lot of things in our lives are meant to be there for a certain amount of time and then gone. But we tend to over over um, keep certain things because of comfort, okay? Door to spirit. You're being led somewhere else, my love. You really, really are. So this, this blessing that's coming in for you is going to lead you somewhere else, but you have to be willing to let something go in order to accept this. Okay, it could be something physical. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, all right? All right, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this. And stay positive.